Hello, this is an economic news summary. I am Patience Aliyu. Nigeria and Germany have signed two memoranda of understanding in agriculture and commerce to increase collaboration between Nigeria and Germany in the two sectors. The agreement on commerce was signed by the first deputy national president of Naksima, Haji Asaratu Ia Abubakar, on behalf of Nigeria, and Dr. Stefan Liebing of German Africa Business Association, signed on behalf of the German business delegation. The managing director of Nigeria Incentive-Based Risk-Sharing System for Agricultural Lending, Mr. Aliu Abdelhamid, and Peter Husa, representative of Peter Husa Petkus Technology, a company that specializes in post-harvest agricultural value chain, signed the agreement on agriculture on behalf of their respective countries. After the signing of the MOUs, Nigeria's Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Mr. Okechuku Enelama, said the agreement would leverage small and medium enterprises in Nigeria. The federal government has so far paid 37.5 million naira to 938 extremely poor and vulnerable persons in Benue under its social reinvestment program. Mrs. Mary Igwe, an official with the State Unit of the Cash Transfer Office, said each beneficiary received 10,000 naira every two months in a disbursement that began eight months ago and covered seven local government areas of the state. According to her, the disbursement of the funds commenced after an agreement between the federal government and Benue State on the implementation of the Social Welfare Intervention Program. She said the state cash transfer unit had received a list of 4,832 names from the National Cash Transfer Office drawn from the National Social Insurance Registry for the purpose of re-enrollment. The Naira last week appreciated against the dollar at the investor's window, selling at 362.32 Naira to the dollar against 363.06 Naira, but depreciated marginally at the parallel market, exchanging at 360 Naira to the dollar from 359 Naira. Pound sterling and the euro at both the parallel market and the bureau the change segment closed at 469 Naira and 417 Naira respectively. The Naira was 306.10 to the dollar at the Central Bank of Nigeria official window. The investor's window was created to boost liquidity at the nation's foreign exchange market and to afford importers and exporters the opportunity to agree at a stipulated amount for the dollar. The window has since its inception sold over $3.8 billion. Minister of Finance Mrs. Kemi Adeoshun has advised investors to take advantage of the improved business environment in Nigeria to invest in key sectors of the economy. At a meeting with members of a business delegation that accompanied British Prime Minister Theresa May on her visit to Nigeria, Adeoshun said the federal government had taken bold steps to create an enabling business environment for attracting investments. She said that the President Muhammad Buhari-led administration had established the Presidential Enabling Business Environment Council to improve business environment, sustain existing reforms, and deepen the subnational ease of doing business projects to ensure sustainable economic activities in the country as well as create jobs. The minister also conversed for deepening of the Nigerian capital market with specific products that could be channeled toward infrastructure financing. The Consul General of China in Lagos, Mr. Chao Ziaoliang, says the volume of trade between China and Africa from January to July this year stands at about 4.17 trillion naira, about $116 billion. Chao said the Chinese government had since 2010 continued to maintain its position as Africa's largest trading partner with a trade volume of 6.12 trillion naira, about $170 billion, and a total non-financial investment of 3.6 trillion naira, about $100 billion, in 2017. China is currently hosting world leaders at the ongoing 2018 Forum on China-Africa Cooperation Summit in Beijing. And... No fewer than 150 farmers have benefited from a training on improved livestock production and marketing organized by the Institute of Agricultural Research and Training in Ibadan. Professor James Adediron, 
The IAR and T executive directors said that the institute had national and zonal mandates and would continue to work to mitigate the challenges of poverty and unemployment through livestock enterprises. Adediron said the institute remained committed to enhance applied research in the different agricultural value chains to achieve food security and reduce unemployment and poverty. For details of this and other stories, log on to our website. Nando Tenji.